Now, on your website, MikeDolceMMA.com, you actually posted that you were looking for a new nickname. <laughs> yeah, I am. Now, there's been a couple posts on there, so myself and a couple other people from the website got together, came up with the small list of names that I'd like to read. You see what you think. You never okay. know. Maybe that could be the one. Okay. So, I got it right here. And um, Please. I hope we got a winner. You never know. Maybe they'll announce it at Call to Arms this weekend. Maybe. When they, maybe. When they introduce That's you. That's true. So, your old nickname was Skull Kraken. Skull Kraken. Yeah. How did you get that nickname, actually? That was uh, when I joined Team Quest uh, a couple years ago. Um, I went out there and, and I just brutally knocked out my opponent. And uh, herniated discs his neck, you have to have spinal surgery, all these things. And it really opened up everybody's eyes to the kind of power that I have. And uh, a couple of my other opponents, I, I've destroyed um, with knockouts, vicious knockouts. And I feel terrible afterwards, you know, doing it. I, I just, you know, yeah. I'm in the zone, I see why it, it's really a weird thing. You fighters, you understand. Um, so Tim Hughes, who's, uh, you know, a famous ring announcer, uh, he did the IFL for years. Um, he just one day, he's like, he called me, you know, skull cracking. I think my teammates kind of put him up to it. But the way Tim would say, he would love to say it. And his voice would sound so great. He has his booming, um, big, you know, deep voice. And he would just skull cracking it. And the fans would go crazy. And there's this big pop in the audience. And I'd be a little embarrassed because unless I'm in the ring or the cage, I'm not really a, a mean person. I think I, I'm a nice person. I try to be a gentleman and a sportsman and you know, all that stuff. So I'm a little embarrassed about it. Um, I mean, it is what I do, but it's not so much what I want to be known for when people just kind of see me and they don't know me as a person. It sounds a little cheesy, but it, it's true. So hopefully you guys have something better for me. Let's see. So, well, we actually saw some of the names that were on there. Uh, and Nate Quarry actually suggested one that we like the best, Sweetness. Yeah. And that's based off of your last name, correct? That's based off my, I'm, I'm Italian. Like I've said, my last name is Dolce. And Dolce means sweet in Italian. So Nate came up with Sweetness. And I think that's an awesome name. What the problem is, there's a lot of, you know, turds running around this planet. And they, you know, come in like, hey, Sweetness. You know, these are, these are dudes, men, that are, you know, coming at me, you know, like, like almost hitting on me with it or being uh, sexually uh, in enticing. <laughs> and they kind of ruined it. I think it would have been a great name if there weren't so many homophobes out there, you know, trying to, uh, you know, make it an odd, inappropriate play on that. So, you know, the ladies, you can call me sweetness anytime. The dudes, you know, let's stay away from that. All right, so the first name on our list is actually, you posted that Rampage suggested The Hobbit. Yeah, bastard. Yeah, so this is actually in response to the Hobbit. You could be called the Lord of the Ring. Lord of the Ring. Okay. Oh, Although, I, I see that. Yeah, yeah see? I see that. That's a response. I mean, it's normally a cage, but I mean, whenever That's, you see a ring, it could work. You absolutely. Know? All right. Now, the next one is the Paragon, which actually means a model of excellence. Okay. See? And I don't think there's Mike Dolce. Mike the Paragon Dolce. The Paragon. I like that. I don't I think I've lived up to that yet, though. Okay. You know, But that's something I can aspire to. All right, now, I heard that before you were actually a fighter, you were a tax assessor? Correct? I was, a musical right. tax assessor, yeah. So maybe we could do a playoff of that, the tax man coming. The tax man coming, that could work. Yeah. That could work. And then the next one would be the collector, kind of a playoff of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know, the centaur. Okay. I mean, you know, that even comes with the logo. I mean, Mike Dolce on a horse's body, can you imagine that? You yeah. Know? You know, your ribs, you know? That'd be okay. t-shirts, because we selling like crazy. Ticker, that's all about selling. So, no. the body snatcher. Okay, let's explain that. Is it just you collecting bodies when collecting you're in the bodies? Room. Okay, you know, it sounds a little creepy too. My guys a little might get creepy. scared. You know, my my good friend Brian Talbert, lunchbox maybe could design a shirt for that. A little Hollywood action back here. A little Hollywood action. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. All right. Well, this one, I I mean, this one, I don't know. For with me, it kind of just sounds great. But okay. Mike broke you, Dolce. Broke you. That's odd that you would come up with that. How I think that, that is awesome. That might be the name. Mike broke you, Dolce. When I mean, you get in there and you just break guys down, you know? That and you already have a shirt for that made up. Well, we already have shirts, you know? How about that? Broke you, huh? That could work. Now, the last one is personally my favorite. Okay. Play off your last name. Mike the Candyman Dolce. And we could throw in a slogan. Serving sweet ass kickings 24-7. That could be the one. You know? that'd, be a, that'd be a big shirt. It'd be like paragraph. But. And at the same time, people think the horror movie with the Candyman. So I mean, it could be sweet, scary. All of the above. All of the above. So well, we could do that. Well, maybe you know, everybody watching this can chime in on the website. 
And, and you, uh, or if they have suggestions, you can go to MikeDolceMMA.com, sign up, and then uh, give you their suggestions. Yeah, please. I got a you know big forum topic. Lots and lots. It's amazing how many people come up with things. There's some oh, great yeah. ones on there. We just haven't settled it yet. I'm gonna have a, a vote and probably give away like a free three week diet or something. One of my books to uh, whoever. You know, comes up with with the winner. But we're still working on it. Well, there you go. You can not only help Mike Dolce pick out his nickname, but you can end up looking like Mike himself. You know, look at that. See, I lift up my shirt, but you guys would get scared. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for your time, Mike, and Absolutely. hope everything goes for you well in your fight and your career. Thank you very much. And everyone, make sure to check out Roki.com for more interviews and Mike Dolce MMA for more information on Mike. Thank you, guys.